Hello computer knots. my name is Andy, this is Kerbal Space Program, and today we're going to check out the upcoming Phase 4 release, well most of it at least, of the Kerbin Shuttle Orbiter System, the KSO mod. So of course, probably the coolest thing in Phase 4 coming up is the Kerbo Star. It's got a little camera, Let's see five Kerbals, and it's got a uh, spotlight on it as well and let's right click it there we go we can change its paint job medical look at that miss b how you doing No, Miss B. Oh, Miss B blonde. There it is. That's pretty sweet. There we go. Tester orange. And Kerbo Star White. Okay, let's let's stick with Kerbo Star White. We'll try and fly this baby. Alright, here we are. Let's turn on our SAS. Let's turn on our lights here. There we go. Let's press spacebar. And off we go. More RPM screens, nice helicopter uh, radio and uh, altimeter and things like that. Oh, let's pick up speed, height. Okay, let's try and land on this. And let's land on the VAB and uh, check out some more of the <laughs> upcoming Phase Four parts. Oh, good enough. <laughs> oh, let's let's show you the shutdown sequence because I think it's I think it's awesome. All right, let's check out some of the other stuff from Phase 4. Okay, so not only do you have a medical helicopter, but we also have a police car. And, of course, we can check out different paint jobs for it as well. A little Keystone Park Ranger look going. What else we got? Yes, of course, classic white. Now, this does look strangely like a Ford Crown Victoria, but it is, of course, a Cord Crown Victoria. If you drive one of these and are not a police officer, you are not a nice person. All right, so let's see this guy in action. Let's go, let's go to the classic black. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here we are on the runway. Let's turn this engine on. Oh, nice. Turn the lights on. Here we go. Yes. Turn on a spotlight. Look at that. Let's go inside. Just so cool. So detailed. So awesome. Turn this thing willy nilly. Look at that. Grand Theft Kerbal coming soon. All right, all right, let's check out some more. Now, of course, we have the regular cord sedan. As I was mentioning earlier, if you drive one of these and are not a police officer, uh, you make everyone on the highway drive slower for no reason. You can go through a couple of the paint jobs here black, white. Baby blue, or, or, or Carolina blue, if you're a, a sports fan. Red. Let's let's go with uh, let's go with black. That's pretty sweet, huh? It drives the exact same as the uh, as the police car. 
So I won't I won't show it. We'll just uh, we'll just go on to the next one. And of course, no no launch pad would be complete without the fire trucks standing by for a failure. We can have the classic red or the uh, I guess was this the airport yellow. We'll go with the classic red and we'll check it out. All right, so here we are with the fire truck. Turn on the fire truck lights here. Let's raise this water cannon. Turn on the engine. Here we go. Look at this. This is so cool. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Does the water cannon work? Let's find out. The answer is yes. Okay, you do this. You do automatic switching here. Oh, manual, oh, toggle mode. There we go. And there it is. <laughs> yes. We can, uh, we can lower the water cannon. Make sure we get that nice stream where we want it. We can raise it again, too. There we go. There it is. Raise the water cannon. And you control the, I believe, yes. The throttle controls the amount of water coming from the water cannon. <laughs> so cool. All right, what else we got? Here we are with the next vehicle on the runway, the KSO Coach. That's right, it's a giant bus to transport your Kerbals around. Look at this thing. I think it fits something like one, two, three, four, like eight or ten Kerbals. It's, it's uh, three, four, five, six. Oh man, it sees a lot of guys. But it looks a lot like the interior of your normal coach bus. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, nine kerbals? Nine, ten kerbals? So many. All right, let's see this guy roll around for a little bit. This drives anything like actual buses. It will run over everyone and not care. Okay, so here's the KMW lorry, and this serves as sort of the base for a bunch of other trucks, and I'll just show you uh, some of the add-ons that you can do for this. So you can go fuel truck and have maybe a K, uh, Kerbal Attachment System KS module here, like a, a, a pipe or something like that that you can then refuel anything on the runway with. Awesome. There's also a trailer, so you can uh, tow a bunch of stuff. It'll come with, oop, that's the camera. It'll come with on the, uh, in the structural side here, there's a few truck hitches and things like that will, that will allow you to create a whole bunch of really long stringed trucks so that they can carry maybe, say, cargo containers. There we go. Or, where's the air, there it is. This is what I've used a lot so far, the air stairs. And what these do is allow you to get on and off a, uh, a, a KSO Super 25 when it's on the runway here. I'll show you, let's launch this thing. All right, so here we are, I've got a uh, KSO Super 25 on the runway and I've maneuvered our little air stairs here up to it and I'm just gonna drive it forward right up to there and let it bump up and hit the brakes. Alright, going about two and a half meters per second. Slow it down a little bit. Alright, there we go. Alright. Shut down this engine. Alright, so let's switch. 
And we'll just EV our Kerbal here. Here's Bob. Bob will just walk down the stairs. How cool is that? Incredibly immersive. Uh, very, very well put together. I think, I think this is the best mod uh, in the entire game. It is probably the most detailed mod inside and outside IVAs and EVAs. And uh, it's still growing. So check it out. I've included uh, all the links to the forum, to uh, Helldiver. Uh, his, he's the guy who created the mod, to his Twitch page where he does more development on it because there's going to be a rover and uh, potentially even more Phase 5, things like that. Uh, so check that stuff out. And uh, I've also included a link to uh, my YouTube videos where I have a whole series on the KSO itself. So if you want to see how it flies, if you want to see um, certain things that can go inside of it, I've also included a link to um, some sub-assemblies for it that I've created. So you can just plug and play those and build stations and bases and go to all different planets with probes and landers and things like that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, fellow computer knots.